Hello, and welcome back to, let's see, episode three of Brave Companions. It's like Carnival mm. something. I'm not sure what the name is yet. But... <laughs> <laughs> Which Brave like... Companions, go to the carnival. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's go it. to the carnival. Yeah. That's Fall a lot to in the put water. on. Yeah, we'll, for we'll, a little shorten swim. It. we'll shorten it or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's been, been a couple weeks since we did this. So, uh, you guys... Little recap, came to the carnival, played some games, met Mr. Witch and Mr. Light. Uh, oh, that's right. Uncovered, uncovered, the, uncovered some of the mysteries of the carnival. Mr. Witch and Mr. Light might be hiding something. Maybe. Uh, yes. Save, save some people, chase some people, <laughs> ate a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Lots of, <clears throat> was it custard? Custard. Yeah, lots of custard. Yeah, yeah. Custard. almost died due to custard. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Custard damage. <laughs> uh, and I believe last time you guys were at the Hall of Illusions. Yeah, tried to find somebody at a portal. It sounds like a bad place to look for people. Look for <laughs> you never want to lose somebody in a carnival. <laughs> there was th that that character like got away. There was a um. Yeah. The pure, the mortal, the the, the mortal, the, the, yeah, the mirror the, mortal. Sorry, the, the pig faced girl. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's not very yeah. nice to call it out. <laughs> Blame Watsy. <laughs> they just can't do anything right lately. Yeah. <laughs> and chain was closed. Right. <laughs> So there's still a couple, I think it was like two hours left until the monarch crowning festivities. So you still got a little bit of time to look oh, around. We, haven't, we need to figure out how to be in the running for monarch. Do we not, people? So I know we were, I know we were going to, we were plotting too with some of the, the um, other workers in the carnival to help st to steal the watch <clears throat> from Mr. Witch. Um, because they they mentioned that with that, I mean, they, that's what they used to control the carnival, and we'd probably get, be able to get more information if we had mm -hmm. that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we also <clears throat> talked about going over to the lost property and one other place, but I can't remember where the other place was. Yeah, what was the next step on the the watch stealing plan? <sighs> we talked. Did we have a plan? <clears throat> We so did. I don't, we, I don't, got, we got the well, lime on our side. He's good at pickpocketing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now I don't know if you guys actually have met with everyone to work out a plan. Like they've all agreed to help you. But... <laughs> no, they're all supposed to meet us over by the lake, where the, where, the, where the mime guy ran off to see his mermaid. Okay. Love. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Silver Song Lake. Mm -hmm. And we had all of these kind of questions on how that would work. You know, as a couple. Can he go in the water? Can she go in the land? It's just probably similar to like whales. I would guess. Maybe he's got like a really big, you know, and no. that's how you make it work. I don't know. <laughs> Personality. That's what you meant, right? Yeah. I, I didn't say anything. Yeah, yeah. And she has huge trucks of land. Based on his uh, sign language capabilities, he's probably pretty good with his hands too. You know, so. Probably. Um. <clears throat> Right, so, so I don't remember who was running Lost and Found. Was there a particular char character that ran Lost and Found? Uh, we you haven't been there yet, so you don't know. Well, if we're so going I Lost. Was who was there, but I don't remember who it was. Okay. They said we should go there. Lost property. All right. Oh, I got to zoom in again. Forgot how big this map is. Yeah. <laughs> Saw this little tiny dot of a butterfly going across. Yeah. The map. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Get this ready. Are we all gonna fit in this lost and found? It looks like a little bit of room. Like, do we just need to wait outside while, like, you know, Lee's character goes in, or maybe it's larger on the inside than it is on the. Oh, outside. It oh it's like yeah, you know, like a Harry Potter tent. We all go in there and it's just yeah. it's this yeah. massive thing. Uh, okay, here, here we go. So, out, out, outside the lost property wagon is a large feline creature with midnight blue fur. It has a pair of tentacles extending from its shoulders and wears fake butterfly wings. Mm. Hanging from its collar is a small wooden keg. The creature roughhouses with two young boys. One squeals, again, Dearla, again! <coughs> While the other one hangs onto the creature's neck. I will show you a picture. Tentacles. Okay. 
You can see that. That is a weird looking. Oh, so the tentacles are actually holding the wings. Oh, okay. okay. So like I, I was looking at that I picture. I was like, them. oh, wait, they're tied to it. Like, yeah, that's like a like, flap wing. Tentacles, <laughs> yeah. It has six legs. Look at that. That's cool. That's crazy. So if you want to try to figure out what it is, you probably make like a... Roll for initiative. Uh, arcana. <laughs> like, a, like an ar yeah. Arcana, maybe? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> well, he thinks that's a bad idea. Let's not fight this thing. He's huge. <laughs> so what would that be? Uh, arcana's intelligence, yeah. Arcana. Hmm. Yeah, plus animal zero, animal plus zero, plus good? zero. But I still rolled a plus. <laughs> you could do animal handling, right? <laughs> oh, crit. Okay, Liam definitely knows it. So this is a displacer beast. Huh. Hey, that's a displacer beast, guys. <laughs> you elaborate what are those? I thought, I thought that was... Is. Well, so if you put it in water, the body of water gets displaced. Oh. oh. Also known as Archimedes Beast. Yeah, there yes. you go. Yeah, now you yeah. got it. <laughs> and that, children, is the science fact for today's episode. The more you know. Yeah. <laughs> so there's Learning this displacer is... beast sitting in front of this wagon. And kind of it's it kind of has some like swing open doors, so there's like stuff piled inside of it. People lose a lot of stuff here. Yeah. Would I know if for? the Displacer Beast is intelligent and can it <clears throat> like that, or is it truly a beast? Oh, well, you can try to talk to well, it. It has a name. Well, I mean, if I if I knew about it, I'd know if it's talk. I wouldn't try. The the kid was was talking to it. Yeah, his name is Deerla or something, right? Mm, like I know horses talk. I'm not gonna try to talk to him. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I used to talk to my horse all the time. Meow. <laughs> I mean, Made I look like a cat. Yeah. Meow. <laughs> it gives you a quizzical look. It's like, why are you doing that? <laughs> we weren't sure if you like you know, spoke common or not. <laughs> of course, I could speak common. Are you, are you looking for something you lost? I think. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to have lost my memory. <laughs> Where are we looking Glances for? back at the wagon like, mm, don't think it's in there. Um, I don't remember either. <laughs> lost? My notes are... <laughs> lost? <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Dear... La lost <laughs> Damn it. Is your friend having a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he drank too much wine last night. I think my, I think my uh, note taking skills are about as, as uh, good as certain other folks. <laughs> I'm just gonna chat with it basically I said, well, you know, we we heard stuff that always go is going missing at this this carnival. Yes, yes, it does. Oh, yeah, where Some... do people go? And, and not, no, I'm not talking about physical property. I'm talking about people. People. Yes, that does happen sometimes. What do you, what do you know about yes. that? Well, I know that, and, and right as she starts talking, or it starts talking, I'm not sure. It is. Um, like the two, one of the one of the boys. There's this little crystal ball at the feet of. Um, this beast, like you don't know his name yet, but this boy picks it up, and the beast goes <laughs> like right at the boy, and he ah, drops it and just takes off. Whoa! <laughs> oh, no. Don't touch the uh, crystal ball. I take it. Bad kitty. <laughs> Bad kitty. <laughs> and the, and the other, the other boy, other boy yells out, "Vero, Vero, come back! No, mom and dad are gonna be here. No, come back!" So he he ran off. Well, oh there. boy. Lost kid number sixty-five. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, regular occurrence, man. Yeah. Where did the little crescent with that kid? What's that? Say it again. I'm asking why 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 is why is so aggressive with the kid? Oh this this crystal ball is very 
important to me. It was it was my Cubs. Hmm. It's his favorite toy. I can't can't have anyone touching it. Probably overreacted. Hmm. I, I understand children. Children are important, even though they annoy me. <laughs> what happened, to happened to your cub? Yeah, what happened to your cub? Um, my cub was lost the carnival as well oh. many years ago <clears throat> to go get some snack or something, and came back, and I never came back. Oh my god! I spent I spent days mm -hmm. in, couldn't find him. But I I do know other people have gone missing as well. Not just items, but people. Mm -hmm. I think pe people don't show up here in the lost and found. No, <laughs> just just items. Most of this is trinkets and junk and wallets and watches and spectacles. I lost my wallet from <laughs> a little while ago. Can I look through the uh, the wallet to see which one matches mine that I lost? <laughs> Feel free. To... Okay. <laughs> Rub it through. <laughs> this one's still got my gold in it. <laughs> Roll really a D10. Coming back for these Roll wallets. a D10. <laughs> You're going to find the mimic wallet. <laughs> Roll for initiative. You find five. You find five gold amongst the wallets. Nice. So we have also lost somebody dear, and we may have a lead on on what happened to these individuals. And so we're while we're we're enjoying this carnival, we're also hunting down that lead. Really. What kind of lead? Well, the hags, for one thing. Hags. Right. Yeah. Rough at that. What are your feelings about Mr. Witch and Mr. Light? They seem on edge. Something has been bothering them. More so recently than other times. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't recommend. Pushing them very far, confronting them in person, so to say, but I might be able to help question them in some sort. But what do you know about their stopwatch or their pocket watch? Oh, um, oh, uh, these guys mixed up. Which is the guy with the watch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh. Well, Mr. Witch's watch, it's, it's integral for the carnival to begin and end. I know without it, you can't close the carnival. That's never mm -hmm. happened. I've just heard rumors. I have good, good mind to think that's true. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so as a, a displacer beast, can you displace from location to location like teleport you're gonna make me look up stuff here <laughs> i'm just trying to see if so he, i don't if know if this... trying to see if he's the guy that's gonna help us in the heist or not you know like if he can just teleport in and, meow, and take the thing and then leave you know be kind of nice and they do mm. Bend light, become invisible. Interesting. And they can change, make their size look bigger or smaller. Well, I can't. I can't teleport, but I can blend in very well. Hmm. And she kind of holds up a paw, and just it kind of like dematerializes before you, and then. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's pretty, mm. that's pretty sweet. So I, I kind of 
pull the group together away from the displacer beast and quietly say, how much do we tell this displacer beast? You know, we already talked to some people about stealing this watch and yeah. getting your help. And, I mean, he didn't seem open to push against them like some of the other people were. Yeah, that was a little bit worrisome when he said I wouldn't openly confront them. But I think stealing the watch is pretty openly confronting them. Yeah. And Liam, make a make a perception roll. Uh, you notice nothing. <laughs> why? <laughs> why is that? Why is that cat looking at us really intently? <laughs> so, as you're talking, you kind of hear a like a. Right on your like right next to your ear, right next to your ear. It's like I said I would help you. <laughs> She's just right, right behind you. <laughs> so Don't do that. My, my name's Delagrin, by the way. Delagrin. How could you help us? Well, I guess you guys are trying to be Witchlight Monarch. I take it. As in everyone in the carnival is, but yeah, I was gonna ask, uh, how do you actually become the monarch? And we need a four-way mm -hmm. tie, which seems very awkward to try to get there. As well. <laughs> <laughs> we need a four-way tie for first, <laughs> so we can all win. I am not exactly sure how Mister Lights. Vane chooses people, it just does. Let's see. How does what? It's pretty, so, it's pretty incredible to see, but... Oh. Possibly. What, there's like some sort of Hogwarts hat or something that's picking the, the winner? What do you mean by Vane? Mr. Light's Vane is his staff. Oh. He carries it. He carries it everywhere. Surely you've seen it. Um... What do you? What does? I'm sure we the, have. What does the winner get? They get lost. <laughs> it's a crown. They get. Uh, they they do get a crown. Yes, they get a crown. They get a parade around the. Car. Oh, and, parade! Perfect. And probably some trinkets. <laughs> Free wings. Sounds a lot like the Mister Mister Reef competition. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I've experienced winning that. Um, well, okay, so we have a uh, a group of other interested parties attempting to help us. So I'm just going to, since Will will help us, I'm just going to tell us, we think that Mr. Witch and yeah, Mr. Mr. Light are somehow involved in these lost individuals. Hmm. Does make sense a little bit since, but our, our, does our evidence not also lead to like that they're not doing it willingly? Like they have, no, I, they have, I, they're, 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 they have to comply. Or... Yeah, that's that's kind of what it was, it, they're almost being extorted. Yeah, to keep the carnival running smoothly and bad things <clears throat> happening, they're having to almost not like turn a blind eye or, or comply and let these people go. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> It's a very interesting theory. But it's it's possible your cub could still be alive. Well, if if you will keep an eye out, his name is Star. Nice. Let me. The Labyrinth and Star. <clears throat> if you if you'll um... help look for Star. Give you this his ball. Maybe he'll remember. Hmm. And come back to me. Does it do anything? Do you be worried no, about it's, like, a it's a toy. It's a child's toy. Exploding or anything. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be happy to help you. Excellent. So he Definitely. hands you hands you the catch me, hands you the orb or the ball. Oh. Yeah, it's it's like hand hand size, yeah. 
Careful, may explode. Thank you. We'll we'll use that so that he he feels that uh, we are somebody familiar to him. Excellent. Thank you so much. As confirmation that we are uh, we're helping you find him. We represent yes. you. How many years has he been lost? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I don't want to go looking uh, for like a house cat size thing when it should be looking for a ten foot long. Full grown it's, cat. It's, thing. it's been many years. Okay, so oh, we're looking man. for the full size. Okay, yeah. The first 48 hours are really critical. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the first 48 hours are crucial. <laughs> Ominous music starts. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Law and order, brave companion. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, Law and order, brave companion. Edition. Let's see. Have Have you ever yeah. experienced uh, portals where different beings can come in and out of uh, of, of random objects? We We've encountered. Uh, uh, a young, well, maybe a young child. We don't know. A small person-ish thing wearing a pig mask that can go through portals somehow hmm. from our, our plane to some other plane. Not that I've seen. No. Uh, keep your eyes out for a uh, uh, a smallish humanoid with a uh, pig mask. Of course. Yep. Helping me, I will obviously help you. Yes. And if you can use all your hands to vote for us, uh, that will be helpful too. I'll find out what I can. <laughs> well, so guys, we were hoping that maybe uh, he would be, or she would be able to help us find a person, but it uh, seems that it's only items here. Maybe we need to continue our journey. Okay, Delagrin, we will uh, we will report back. Yes, whenever you need my help, please come come find me. I'll do what I can. Real quick before we leave, though, Delagrin, do you know everything that's in this room that is that has been lost and and is now found? Do you have like a catalog of this? Mm, no. <laughs> okay, thank you. I am done. I, I will. <laughs> You're more than welcome to look. <laughs> Most people don't come back for their things. I was wondering if anybody had any weapons or acid or anything that could be useful for in combat, you know, nunchucks, something, you know. Um, <laughs> there might be some toy nunchucks in there. Yeah, no, yeah, it? that's true. I just wasn't sure if you had like a cat. If you don't, that's okay. I don't need to look. I, 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 I it took me a while to go through the wallet, so I don't need to look in there. <laughs> so a lot of work for five gold. Yeah. I'm at five gold now. I'm pretty busy. <laughs> well, do we want to head over to the Silver Song Lake? Yeah. Was, there, was there not an item that we were supposed to look for? The Lost and Found. Was there was. We don't remember though. <laughs> person that we're, we're one other thing we were going to do other than Lost and Found, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, uh, let's see. I haven't gone to uh, Silver Song Lake. The Snail Race, Pixie Kingdom, or Bubble Pop Teapot. The Snail Race would have been fun. Silver Song Lake will be interesting. Go see the mermaid chick. I mean, I still have four punches on my card, I think. Yeah. Snail Racing, then? I do have some. Probably probably got time for a couple games if you want to go do that. I'm up. Let's go do something. Maybe we win and increase our chances of becoming. Uh, Yeah. Co-monarchs, yeah. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Snail, snail race? Snail races? Snail race. Let's do snail races. Yeah. Snail races. Okay. Snail races. Although it might take a long time, so this might yeah. be these are never-ending story snails. <laughs> snail race. race snails. Okay. I'll need to show you pictures of this too. Okay, the grandstands next to this race course are filled with cheering fair goes, ringing bells, swinging rattles, and waving flags. On the starting line, eight giant snails are having their shells scrubbed by pixies. Above the circular course, a wooden gantry hangs above the benches, the branches of a central tree, where two goblins officiate the proceedings. And 
Did you say golems? Goblins. Goblins. Okay. Uh, there it oh, is. Careful, they might be dragons. Draconia. Whatever the hell they got. Whatever you're bad about. Show fires. There we go. Sweet. Oh, those guys are <laughs> hustling. Awesome. Look at that. It's like a dirt race or something. It's like a chariot race. Also. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. So there's there's quite a few people here. That yeah yeah. So there's um eight snails at this so it's a it's a pretty big track like it looks small in here but it's pretty big <laughs> is there like a, um an information booth or somebody who looks like they could tell us about what we whether we can join in the races oh geez so, so as you're walking up these two goblins uh Start start yelling. All right, let's get ready for the next race. Do we have any more volunteers for this race? Oh, you have four right yeah. here. Four. <laughs> ah, see, we got four. Let's get four more. And then a couple extra people come in. And mm -hmm. They hop on some snails. And so as as you hop on the snail, a little pixie comes up. Punch your ticket. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think flies off. Um, <laughs> so. Didn't we get, we got free ones last time, though, didn't we? Did we get it? Didn't? Somebody gave us a free pick. card. Witch or light, I think one of them, right? Yeah. Uh, probably. I mean, we asked for more. Yeah. yeah, we asked for more punches, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So um, there are eight. They're different colored. Uh, we have a pink, blue, purple, green, yellow, purple. orange, red, and black. Purple, yellow, yellow. black, red, black like my soul. Okay. So, dude. Okay. Uh, let me just. Cut uh, catch me. Which one are you on? Purple. Purple. Okay. Your uh, purple snail uh, has a little kind of like a. They all had like a like the reins and mm -hmm. seat and monogrammed on the tip of the seat is their name. Purple is named High Road. Okay. Uh, let's see, Liam. Which one are you on? Mm -hmm. Which one? Black. Black. Yours says Queen's Majesty. Mm. All right. Let's go red. Red for... Uh, there, there is no red. There's pink. You, you said there was a red. Oh, okay. Pink, okay. blue, purple, green, yellow, orange. Oh, there's red. Sorry. Oh, Breakneck. Man. Breakneck. Yeah, that's, that's a good That's a good fast name. Not bad. Uh, yellow and for me, please. Sir Ulrich, you have Flower Flash. You have slow ass snail. <laughs> I have some experience from riding war horses. So you should, yeah. I should be good at this. Good news is war horses are slow. That's this should be right up your speed. So uh, to charge into battle once more against the Draconians. <laughs> <Can't> wait. <laughs> All right, so you guys climb up onto these snails. That's all picks. Um, sorry. Just... I'd say they're large creatures. I mean, they're like giant snails. Yeah. So these yeah. people in the picture that I still have up are like people size. Yeah, th th those, those are, are people size. They have oh, like okay. the the butterfly wings from the car. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, are those big seas? No, those yeah. those are people. We're wearing the same <laughs> wings. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so they're probably like their shells are probably like six eight feet in the air. Yeah. Wow. That's a big ass snail. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Don't get slimed, man. <laughs> Bad news. <laughs> All right. So I need to mess up. Red is out in front. Uh, I'm gonna lean over and, 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 and yeah. pat my snail and say, okay, queen, we got this. <laughs> okay. Tell yeah, me, tell me the colors again. Uh, Liam was black. So red, yellow, and purple. Yeah, my, my snail's name is Breakneck, but snails don't actually have necks, so it implies all of y'all's necks are gonna be pretty <laughs> All right, so the so this track is four hundred and eighty feet long. Whoa. That's a big track. Pretty good. These mm. goblins, they kind of chime up. It's like, all right, racers, let's get ready to race. First ones around the track are the winners, and better hold on tight. So these snails 
Yeah. You, you get the feeling they're gonna they're gonna take off. <laughs> <laughs> Fly okay, flower so blast. So these are divided into let's see six second rounds. Uh, once the race begins, the, the snails move Check along the way. track at remarkable speed, at eighty <laughs> feet per round. Wow. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the pod racers from episode yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some jawas start cheering <laughs> um, so the okay, round is so. six seconds so a minute is ten. is t- is 10 rounds so 800 feet in in one minute hmm. <laughs> so fun. it's going so this is going to be a race to the finish um <laughs> So 100 yard each. dash, like 10 seconds is what? Like, that's Usain Bolt speed, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so that's each round, perfect. you will make a, uh animal handling check. Oh, no. Like it. Like it. Um, <laughs> so good at animal handling. And I will tell you what happens depending on what you roll. Yeah, see, did you say 800 feet a minute? Because that only comes out to nine miles an hour. <laughs> that's still, that's well, a round is six though. seconds, and it's 80, 80 feet so in a round. So, let's see. <laughs> we're overthinking this. We're, yeah. overthinking. we're gonna we're gonna get the math right on this. Show earlier, even that nine miles an hour for a snail is significantly faster than that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll get off and run. <laughs> Google what is the fastest known snail? <laughs> yeah, what is the scale speed of a snail? So animal handling once per round. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, then never mind. some other stuff can happen. <laughs> They travel at speeds that vary from okay. slow 0.013 meters per second <laughs> to very slow 0.0028 meters per second. <laughs> All right, so we are going to get this party started. Uh, that one's do it. Because I'm going to try to keep track of where you guys are, along with the other racers. Oh. But you guys came to and check my. Okay. Uh, we'll start with Keshmi. Going to make a animal handling. Okay. So yours. Uh, this. Uh, five, five. Okay, you went five or four. So you actually went a hundred feet. Wow. On your first round. See ya. <laughs> so you bolt. Yours bolts out of the gate. All right, Liam. Oh, guy. Okay. Oh, no. Ooh. Wow. Oh, Ooh. so you you totally stay oh, pace with Keshmi. I'm, like, I'm like using that the, the little soft whip and just kind of coaxing the snail along. <laughs> come on, Queenie. Come on, Queenie. I, put, I dig through my rations and throw a handful of salt in front of Jesse's. <laughs> 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 Gonna damage the good. I felt it. This That's animal cruelty. These cells are cool. All right, Misu. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to crit it. Nope. Nope. Nine. Okay, yours goes. Um, yours only goes seventy feet. This round. Respectful. A little slower, and it's it's. Just a little at the end, but it's okay. And Ulrich. 15. 15, and yours goes 80. Fly, Flower Blast, fly! Let me roll some for the break neck here. I'm break your neck if we don't speed this crap up. Let's go. Let's go. That one goes 80. Damn. <coughs> that mm. one goes 80. Pretty good at Uh-oh. this. <laughs> Come on, Misu, you're getting left behind. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh-oh. That, that oh. one took off, too. Mine's a hair head by one of those eye stock. <laughs> I've seen, seen from the mummy start whipping the, the <laughs> guy behind Man, next to us. Uh, we cannot no, no, get into a fight okay. tonight, guys. The DM is rolling <laughs> fire. Okay. So now. Let's see how does this work? Okay, seven seven hundred more feet to go. Uh, 
Okay, so someone roll a d8. I got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. A one. Okay. Nothing happens that round. Okay. Now the next round. If you want to, um, let's see. Guess not. Okay. Uh, catch me. Uh oh, dang it. Okay. That's okay. It's, that still went. That still went seventy on that one. Okay. Respectable. <clears throat> like it. It took off and it kind of maybe expended too a little too much energy out of the game. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right, Liam. Oh. Oh man, you guys just yeah. Too much energy. You, you whipped them too hard. <laughs> Low and steady, guys. Low and steady wins the snail right. race. Me too. All right, here we go. We're gonna How many feet roll. did uh, Liam go? Uh, 70. Yeah, you what was my first one? I forgot. 70 again. Uh, your your first round was 100 feet. This round you went 70. And yeah. 70 so went, again. Went another 70, okay. Yeah. Is it 70, 80, and 100 or something? It's... uh. Like the ranges. Um, if if you fail, then it goes slower. <coughs> yeah, if you if you really fail, then it goes really slow. <laughs> hmm. Ulrich. Okay. I got a nine. It just goes seven. We're still okay. wait a little bit until the NPCs. Roll these. Oh, oh, oh man. man, that one that one just not the lead anymore. That was the same one that would be at the 20 last time. Uh oh. Uh, no, that's a different one. So that one just says NPC is in the lead. <laughs> okay, that nice. one. Oof, that one kind of stumbled there. Think about using my command spell. How do you stumble? The, the one in front to just stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Maybe there was some like leftover. Gravel or salt. Salty, salty popcorn, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it went over some popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> it's trying to scoot away from it. <laughs> All right. Uh, someone roll the D8 for me. What else get it this time? I can do it. <laughs> Another okay. one. Nothing again. Okay. Next round. Catch me. Oh. Three, wow, okay. You're just really slowed down. <laughs> I only went 60 that round. Oh, it can be Thank really you. bad. Catch me, yeah. do you have the emergency brake on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. know how to drive this thing. I, I'm I'm, I'm right, familiar Liam. with automatics, but not manual. Watch Liam, yeah, he knows how to do it. Yeah, Liam, yours, yours kicks it back in and goes another 100 there. Sheesh. Okay, me too. Right. Okay. There you go. Yeah, that, there you go. That, that one. Another eighty. Okay. And Ulrich. Fourteen. Uh, okay. That's still. That still made it. So, go another eighty. Still in the back. Some of these. Still last place. No. Oh. Okay. I want to. Okay. Off. It's a slug now. Oh. <laughs> Hubcaps going everywhere. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna roll. This guy's got to fail this. Come on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So his, his, <laughs> that guy is out of the race. He the saddle completely, oh, it man. loosened and he goes, wha bam, right? <laughs> Middle of the track. Right into the slime drill. He is out. <laughs> Slides. Okay. He's gone. <clears throat> Come on. And next Majesty. one. Hmm. That one slowed down too. Okay. That one, there we go. All right. That's a... okay. Slowed down too. Wow. String of bad rolls. Okay, that one kept pace. There we go. All right. Another need another D eight. There we oh, go. Okay. One's an eight. <laughs> okay, uh, now roll 
Um, another D8. Five. Okay, so one of the other guys on the other snails, his saddle comes loose too, and he Whoa. flies off. It's like some sabotage going so on that, here. That guy's out. Uh, <laughs> All the crowd's going, ooh! Ooh, put on a show. Nice. <laughs> Let's see. Track this. Uh, 230, 230, I've gone 70 yards or so. All right. Uh, Kashmir, you're at 230 yards. Liam's at 270. Misu's at 220. And Ulrich is 230. Uh, the other two guys got knocked out. And trailing behind all of you are the, are the last two. <laughs> at 210 and 230. All right. Next round. Kashmir. There you go. Lose another 80. Uh, Liam. Oh. Oh, that one. Five more than. Yeah, so that one slows down to 60. All right. So, mm. All right, there you go. Let's, Let's go break neck. Mm. That'll move 90. And Ulrich, you move another 90. Slow and steady. Uh, there you go. Last two. Okay. D. And. D. That's a pretty close race. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna roll the D8. Got it. Four. Okay. Okay, so now roll me another D8. Three. One, two, three. <laughs> Misu, oh, your shit. snail gets a stitch, Ooh. reducing its speed by forty this round. Stretch, man. Stretch so it, so as you're, yeah, it was about to go in and swim. <laughs> it kind of torques up and <laughs> well, reducing yours by forty for that round. Okay. Well, All right. Got to roll really good. Uh, though, yeah. Me. You have to catch me. Oh. Whoa. 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 Uh, okay. Whoa. You also Whoa. got a stitch. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> that only went 60. Okay. Apparently it's contagious. Jeez. <laughs> Liam, you're saying that. It's contagious. Yeah, it's contagious. Misu recovers. Okay. You get you get back oh, to the yeah. 80 on that one. So. Guys, and this is how it's done. Ulrich, Ulrich actually <laughs> takes off a little bit. Nice. So I'll give you 100 on that one. All right. So nice. First gun, other guy. He's down too. Okay. And the other one. Oh, it's a little slow. Chris, you should roll the D8 this time. Okay. Well, <laughs> right now, Ulrich is in the lead at 420, followed by Liam at 390, followed by one of the other people at 380. Uh, let's see, Keshmi and the other rider are at 370. And Misu's at 350 right now. This may be the last round. Yeah, roll a D8. Okay, roll. Okay, we can we can roll a D6. There's only six of you left. One. Catch me. Uh, and you rolled an yeah, eight, so it. your saddle comes loose. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> make make a suck. make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> So close. So or close. Or you will fall it. off. Oh, you no. will be falling off of Boom. your snail. <laughs> and Cash the snail me's down. Catch me's down. The, the snail keeps going. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Those hard shells didn't really get Whoa. much. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cash me is out. All right. Uh, Liam. Okay. I'll sit All on right. this by 
I yeah. eating a candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yours goes. So yeah. beer. Was ninety on that one, which will put you at the end. So Misu, mother guy's got to catch up. <sighs> Not gonna happen. Ninety. You eighty. Come on. Yes. Ulrich. Ulrich. Yes! That will be a hundred. Go, oh, Flower yeah. Blast! Go! <laughs> For glory! For glory! <laughs> I'm just curious, did you pull out your lance too? Like, did you... yes. <laughs> pull the realm! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so at the last second, Ulrich just punches it and. <laughs> right across the finish. <coughs> Crowd erupts. Yeah! Nine and a half thousand hours. Goblin says, ah, what a really close race. Come up to the stage and get your prize. Yay, thank you, good. thank you. I shall accept my laurels. You're going to have to Photoshop a picture of you on one of the snails. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, ah! <laughs> With a <the> lance. <coughs> That was cool. They'll give you. Uh, they'll pull out a little box. Oh, treasure! <laughs> give you. <laughs> hey, I got one of those uh, too. Yeah. Uh, Unicorn <laughs> hoard filled with candy, and it's delicious candy too. <laughs> a paper wasp nest in a jar. That's kind of cool. Uh, thank you. Congratulations! <laughs> really good race. <laughs> what place did I come in? As, I accept uh, as these I get, I get third place? treasures in the name of my order, the Knights of Salamnia. <laughs> okay, so the <laughs> race results will do. Uh, Ulrich was first place. Uh, second place was Liam. Oh, third place, third place, third place. Uh, Third was one of the other riders. <laughs> oh, Fourth man. was one of the <laughs> other riders. <laughs> and Fifth, in the fifth was Misu, and then catch me because he fell off. <laughs> DNF. DNF. Not last. <laughs> <laughs> Not last. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there, there's much revelry and people are cheering. Like they're coming up to you, like patting you on the back. Ah, good job. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You have a couple drinks poured out for you. Yeah. Is there any <laughs> uh, performance enhancing drug testing we do on these snails? Those <laughs> three snails in the front seems to be a different caliber than my break check. I think there's something unscrupulous is going on. And I just, I would like the committee to look at it. I think the international racing community needs to do something. This is, uh, all right. Just different this designs, a small different, election situation. Different different the goblin one, one of the goblins comes down. It's like, let me see a badge. I don't believe you. Badge. I'm, I'm going to write a letter to the International Snail Racing Association. <laughs> Have you guys disbanded? <laughs> me, sir. I'm a snail inspector. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you the address. <laughs> he pulls out a piece of paper, like scribbles on something, and hands it to you. Open this up, open it up. It says get lost. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. Hmm. All right. (laughs) So you guys hang out for a little bit, and then all of a sudden you hear a boom. Uh Come to the big top for the crowning of the Witchlight Monarch. We couldn't have won yet. Too early. <laughs> so you see people start kind of filing toward the big top. Let's go. Yeah, we need good seats. <clears throat> we need to be in the front, so like not like near an aisle. So when we get told to walk up, we don't have to like crawl over people. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse or is it or is it better to be dramatic? Be like, oh, sorry, excuse you know like that kind of thing. Like you're saying, so like, like we didn't know it was coming. Yeah, yeah. We parked ourselves right in the middle of this road. There's no way we would have known we were gonna win. <laughs> So as you're all walking in, you you look around and you see some familiar faces. You see um, Candlefoot kind of standing near the entrance along with the Logarin. 
they're kind of ushering people in, like, oh, come in, come in. Mm-hmm. Like fourth row. Oh. Fourth row is a good row to go to. It's not too far in the front. We don't anticipate, we don't expect, but we're not like, you know, way in the back. So, mm-hmm. so right. right. Candle put, I'm just going to mention, did you get a chance to talk to your lady? I did, yes. Thank you for giving me this wonderful, <laughs> wonderful experience. Um, we do have some plans. So I've talked to Delagran. I've talked to Burley. Um, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. So just, play, just, just play along. Play along. Okay, we'll play along. <laughs> All right. So as as you enter, there's fire breathers and jugglers. It's just a big. It's way more spectacular than the big top act that you saw half halfway earlier. Music. So many crazy things going on. Um. And the logger kind of walks in, walks to the back, and brings out uh, Mr. Witch and Mr. Light. I said, welcome, welcome, one and all, to the crowning of the Witchlight Mark. I, you all had so much fun at the carnival this evening. The crowd goes, yeah! <laughs> but now, let's not... Dilly dally anymore. It's time to crown the Witchlight Monarch and pulls out his faint like pull up. Make sure my hair can accommodate a crown. <laughs> <laughs> and so Witch, there we go. Witch is grumpy. Yeah, yeah he's super grumpy. Yeah. <laughs> So Mr. Witch is kind of sitting not too far back, but he's just standing like right behind Mr. Light. And Mr. Witch pulls out his vein and wishes, swishes it around and then stops and then the veins on it just start spinning slowly, faster, faster. And this kind of brilliant light emits from it and there's strings of light that are wisping off of it and they all kind of coalesce into one string, and it's kind of floating around the crowd. <clears throat> Until it gets to Liam. He goes, <whistles> on to you. Nice. We seem to have a monarch. Come, come. We're all together. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a scene from the Oscars. I head down there reluctantly, you know, like with a scowl on my face. Slides <laughs> <laughs> says, "Hmm, curious. <laughs> Wait, haven't we met before?" No. <laughs> oh, <I'm laughs> clever one. <laughs> Now, let us uh, enjoy in the revelry. And so he brings, there's like some butterflies that fly down with this little crown. It goes, ding, your head. <laughs> <laughs> some flowers get draped over your shoulders. Hands you a little box with a bow on it. A mood's getting darker and darker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reaching for my sword that's not there. <laughs> <laughs> And out comes uh, Palasha, the mermaid. Oh, like on land? Is she like on and... a cart or something? Yeah, I mean, oh, she's in a bath. Get her wet. <laughs> Keep her wet. No, don't get, don't get her wet. No, it's like the mermaid. <laughs> no. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. On show. Yeah, so she oh. kind of gets she kind of gets wheeled out on this cart in oh, as well. Wow. And she sings this beautiful song that everyone's entranced oh, by. Wow. <gasps> uh, Be it's... gone, Harpy! She <laughs> 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 scowls at you. Like... <laughs> uh, just kidding, it was beautiful. Right. So... So, as her song concludes, uh, Mr. Light grabs you, you know, arm in arm, Liam and they start marching you out of the carnival and they're like, everyone's kind of following. There's fireworks and loud music and they're kind of making a lap around the entire carnival. That's a parade to celebrate you being crowned 
What is it? I'm Mr. Like, Witch is the grumpy one, and Mr. Light is the the Harlequin. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Mr. Witch is following Mr. Light, but he's that straight yeah. face the whole time. <laughs> Poker face. Yeah. He could be happy, but you wouldn't know it. <laughs> so as you all kind of circle back around and go back into the big top through which says oh thank you so much for coming one and all we hope you enjoyed your wonderful time at the carnival please come back again next time we're, we'll have more exciting things in store <clears throat> and as she says that the, these butterflies come back and like Dee! pick the crown up and like nope. load it back up. <laughs> <laughs> you only get to wear it yeah, for yeah. the parade. Yeah, that was it. Like... <laughs> Give me back, I'll start the light. Yeah. Wait, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so the, the, the music, the music kind of dies down. Mr. Witch turns to Mr. Light. It's like, well, it's time, it's time to pick it up, isn't it? Yes, of course. And so as they're kind of turning, going toward the back of the tent, you see Candlefoot and Delagrin kind of tackle them and pull them off to the side. Whoa! And, Can and Candlefoot's like, hey, come on, come on, let's go! <laughs> We're now accomplices. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this just got serious. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Billy Club <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they drag him off to the side. Do we follow? Let's yeah, go. Yeah, so if you want, if you want to, yeah, let's definitely. go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, like, get these guys in on the uh, treason here, and then not do anything. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, what I are you doing? Do <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with you? Get you out. Can't act like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they they pull them back behind the big top, kind of where all the wagons are. Where the wagons are. So Delagrin has them kind of in his tentacles. tightly bound, yeah, in the tentacles. That's cool. And Burley is sitting there, and <coughs> Candlefoot's there, Palash is there. Um, they're saying, so what's the deal? What is going on? Is 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 his pocket watch like on his hip? So you want to look for his pocket? Uh, make a. Well, yeah, I didn't know if, it, if he keeps it on his hip or we can see it. Is it visible. Uh, make a perception. I think everybody should do that because I think that's our. Yeah, you can you can look. That's a good bargaining chip if we can get that. All right. <laughs> 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 like, look, look at her. It's like a very <laughs> 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 so, so you, yeah. Ulrich's yeah. like Chapeau. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this pocket watch. No. Yeah, Ulrich sees uh, something dangling off a chain, but it's not. It's not as lustrous as what you would think a pocket watch would be. Guys, that candlefoot. That doesn't. Candlefoot kind of turns to you and flicks you something, but. <laughs> nice. Open your hand up, and there's the pocket watch. <laughs> yeah, we can make them shine, shiny and sparkly, and we're part of the rebellion now. <laughs> Forty-hour work weeks, and we want minimum wage. <laughs> uh, FMLA. So yeah, yeah. No child labor anymore. Let's openly confront them about the missing people. They know more than what they're telling. Yeah, for sure. And Mr. Witch says, you better give that back. Well, you better start talking or you'll never see it again. That's right. Oh. No. What, do you, <laughs> what do you say, Mr. Light? Oh, Mr. Witch, what an evening it's been. I'm tired. Let's just tell them. Fine. You see... As we said before, we want the original owners of this carnival. That watch was given to me by the previous owners. It makes the carnival come and go. 
can't close it up without it. But recently, not just things have gone missing, but people. We've tried to look into it, and we did find a reason. But we can't say the names of the people who were involved. Can we list the name of our hags and nod your head if these are the people? And li- I can't remember our hag names. But uh, uh, was Morda, was Bo- Morda? Was Bo- yeah, Morda involved? Yeah. It kind of shudders and for his, it's like it's it's he like can't he's, say it. he literally he's, can't say it. yeah he's physically he's trying to uh, acknowledge but he they physically must be hexed. can't yeah understand how did how did they know we were coming to this carnival they didn't well somebody knew we were coming because they knew us they had us, our names at the gate I don't know maybe they did send another one they sent them before to bring things back to that place. Do you have access to the portals? How do you know of the portal? We, we witnessed know, one. We, yeah, we know things too. Where? At the fun house. Yeah, the house of illusion. Mm-hmm. In the mirror. Getting more seen. brazen every time. So what do you know of the pig faced girl? That's one of their minions. They sent them here to take things. I know that. Well, why can't you do anything about it? Are they holding, holding, uh, holding something over you? They know where the original owners of the carnival are and we've made it a point to let's just say not be found did you borrow this carnival in a sense (laughs) (laughs) we struck a deal we liked our end turns out they didn't And I'd like to keep it that way. The other one is awful. Not as colorful as this one. We may have some common ground here. Yeah. You are being coerced right? by these individuals that you can't name. They have, some, they have people that we want back. Mm. Maybe there's a way we can find a way to help each other and you can get your watch back. But first, we'll need our weapons and a portal and free punches for next time. (laughs) Have you heard heard the name Zabilna? Yes. Zabilna lives in Feywild. I know she's been missing for quite some time. She is our patron, yes we said before but we weren't honest when we said that we heard from her recently we think something happened to her and those (laughs) might be responsible as well so Liz in the Fade Wild do you have a more precise information on how to get to her We can show you the way. Can't guarantee you can make it back, though. Well, who here wants to come with us? With all of us, we can accomplish anything. As you, as you look around Candlefoot and DeLogren and Burley, they're kind of like, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could really use the big space kitty. And, uh, Mr. Mr. Light is, is eyeing all of them up and down. It's like, <laughs> we're going to have a chat after this. <laughs> They're so screwed. 
If you wanted to resign, you could have just told us in the first place. <laughs> hmm. What do you well, think, guys? If, if we find a way to solve this, you can't let any of these people go for for because of this. They only wanted to help. And only because things have gotten so dire and so obvious that things were going on were they willing to help. You guys let this go on too long. Any any issues with them are only because of y'all. Agreed. So. Is uh, Kel's team here with us too? Is we were talking with Kettle Steam and oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Oh. She was helping us out. Okay, we'll make this interest. Um, <laughs> well, let me because I think she knows she knows um, Zabilna too, right? Uh, yes. I actually found my notes, so I have all this. Was she the one that they okay. were trying to catch? So K Kettle Steen from the beginning was going around harassing people in the in the carnival because she thinks Mr. Witch and Mr. Light had something to do with Zabilna disappearing. Mm -hmm. We confronted Kettle Steen. Kettle Steen helped us get or she took the voice of Foot, gave the voice back. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So is she now reconned into being here talking with us? Yes. Or, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just kind of hanging out in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Kelstein, do you know how to get to the Zabilna or where you last seen her? Uh, well, I know she's in the Feywild. I don't... I've tried to find a place how to get there, but I can't. I don't know how to get there. Mr. Witch, Mr. Mr. Light can get us there, right? Mr. Witch says, I can take you. Just let us go. All right. I'm good with that if everybody else says. We need our weapons first before we get bamboozled and take it through a portal somewhere. All right, Burley, go grab them. <laughs> yeah. Yes, both, so get them. And I had two, I had two scimitars. Make sure there's two that come back to me. I had two scimitars. <laughs> You're going to have to go to the Lost and Found. They were magical, and they had plus three stats each. They were... <laughs> oh, those were the ones on fire? Oh, we threw them in the lake. Oh. <laughs> this Burley made us at the made us at the hall. You're supposed to meet you there. So, walks you over. We'll walk into the Hall of Illusions. All right. As Witch and Light move through the Hall of Illusions, their reflections in the mirror show them as gloomy Shadarkai children with their own youthful-looking reflections following behind. Soon they call you to a halt. The mirrors now reflect everyone's true age. Mr. Witch addresses you in a hushed tone. Everything you seek and more lies beyond this mirror. If you mean to step through and stand in front of the glass and repeat this rhyme. Hither, thither, here and there. Wander, yonder, show me where. What was it one more time? It was a uh, hither, thither, here and there. Wander, yonder, show me where. Did Mr. Did Mr. Witch say that again in front of yeah. us? Yeah. yeah. In front of the mirror? <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't. He didn't want to go through. So nothing. Oh, okay, okay. I was trying to stop the psych him into going too. That'd be pretty cool. Let's get stuck and there. how do we come back? Do we do the same thing somewhere? This is a one way. I have to find your way back some other way. Uh oh. Well, that pig lady made it both ways. Yeah. True that. It's awesome. Okay. So you have seen them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we almost we fought them actually. We we almost captured her in in here. She just got away. Yeah, and this other random guy broke some mirrors. One mess. One mess, yeah, yeah, yeah. The glass in the guy's not our problem. All right, guys, are we ready? Let's do it. I'm going to stand in front of the mirror and say, Hither, hither, here and there, wonder yonder, show me where. All right. Hither, <laughs> thither, here and there, wander yonder, show me where. 
Bye, guys. <laughs> Just like this sorcery. Yeah, same. I got a new background for this, too. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, somebody's been pulling that. For yeah. A couple weeks. <laughs> no, I just I just found that today. <laughs> it's like, oh, I need a portal background. That's cool. So, yeah. So, there's, so this kind of mirror just kind of <laughs> swirls, like blue swirls. And what do you do? Step through. Go in. Yeah, step through. Step through. Yeah. Okay. And as oh, you're walking, you're saying that just opened the portal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And so, but, eh, so Mr. Witch kind of puts his hand on, on the first. Who's going first? I'll go. Okay. So puts your hand on your Brave chest. Liam. And says, Listen, the land beyond this mirror is called Prismere. Prismere? Prismere. 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 The Archfey Zabilna. As far as we know, is somewhere. She ran that whole land. Queen, you may be able to find what you've lost. But but again, this is one way ticket. Did we give him back his watch? Who I lost is very. No, I, don't, I don't think we should. Liam should just accidentally it. forget about it. I was thinking about stealing the other guy's scepter just to make sure we have a reason for him to bring us back. <laughs> so you give him the watch back or are you take him? I think we should give it back because they've got to be able to close the... I don't want all those people to be stuck in that strange place. No? Yeah. So you put it back in his hands. <clears throat> Thank you. It's in this, on the chain in his pocket. And as you... Pass through, you start hearing this kind of, uh, let's see, a mist swirl in the mirror blotting out your reflection as you're stepping through. And as you're stepping through, you hear, in Mr. Witch's voice, mind the rule of three. Future, present, past. And then you hear, in Mr. Light's voice, find the alicorn and free the dormant queen at last. And you each hear that that kind of limerick as you're as you're passing through kind of dematerialize hmm so like like a star trek teleporter kind of thing mm -hmm. okay So how long were we dead? That's a, that's a lot of custard we just <laughs> ate. <laughs> now <that's... laughs> Should have laid off the shrimp custard. <laughs> so as you pass through and you kind of melt back into a physical body as you can feel, there's a lot of mist around you as you all kind of step out of this portal. There's other people waiting to be materialized. In the mist. <laughs> I'm breathing people. Yeah, I'm breathing. <laughs> the air, it's people. <laughs> and as you all kind of step out of this area and there's this mist around you, you look down and it's like you're on cobblestone. Can we see beyond the mist at all, or do we need to walk a little bit? Um, you can make a let's see, perception. Yeah, does it look like a road? Uh, <laughs> nope. Oh. <laughs> Looks like also money. Stand back, let me look. <laughs> <laughs> my sharpened eyes. Yes. <laughs> My, my war trained eyes. I can yes. spot a road when I see one. You've grown weak right, in yeah. your, your peaceful ways. Yeah, Kashmir and Ulrich, you, you kind of, you're staring at some particular points and the mist kind of dissipates for just enough time for you to see um, well, to the west, 
there are a lot of mountains, lots of crags. Um, as you as you look around more, you you seem to be on a bridge. Mm. <clears throat> now you feel like you're not exactly on the ground, <laughs> but above the ground. Like we're floating uh, above the bridge? No, like you're on this bridge, but this is a yeah. pretty tall bridge. Oh, okay. And does it run north, south, east, west, or does that matter? Um, it'll be north, south. Okay. So looking out the side of the bridge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see, see uh, just yeah to the east, or I'm sorry, to the west, you see mountains, mountains and spires. Um, to the north, you do see a very tall castle. Okay. Um, to the east, you see a leaning tower and what looks like some marshlands. The south? Uh, the south just looks like more bridge. Whoa, like just off into the infinity, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, we're up in the air. We can't. We got to go forward. I guess I I'll just walk on the bridge to the north. And yeah. Should we head to the castle? We're looking for a lost queen. It seems like a castle would be a good. Yeah. Yeah, but if she's lost, is she gonna be there anyway? The little toad guy's gonna tell us the queen is another castle. I don't want castle. Where are you? She's not here. We can't really go Look, there's a castle right. that way. There's a leaning <laughs> tower this way in the marshes. <laughs> Back that way is the mountains, and then back this way is the bridge. And, it, yeah. and we're way up in really the air. Yeah, we're way up in the air. It's like going to the marshes is probably a long drop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll, so we'll do this Coyote. here. Are we still wearing That's our pixie a... wings? Because if we don't yeah, need if you, if you want to, yeah. ridiculous things off. It's <laughs> like, that's crap. Oh, <laughs> they look so good on Maybe they'll be a disguise in the Fey world. Take I'll bring pack. Yeah, we're fairies. See, we off. have wings. Yeah. <laughs> so, welcome to this, the domain of Prismir. <laughs> I thought that said Hitler at first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I was like, wait, I was like, I can't play this. <laughs> yeah, Hitler, so, Hitler. If, if you see, you guys are on top of a bridge. Oh, crap. Dead end. Yeah, it's a partial bridge? Uh, we need, like, a monk and the, the big mm. jumpy thing to... <laughs> I have pixie dust. That works very awesome. Person. Yeah. Does anyone have slow fall? <laughs> I have pixie dust. And it's only enough for one person. That mm. is a one-leaning tower. It is. Yeah. No, no, slanty. Hey, there's a balloon. All right, so let me read this text here. You stand at the edge of a raised and broken causeway under a hazy twilight sky. A causeway which is built from pale stones that glow faintly from within towers over the surrounding landscape, but large sections of it have crumbled away. The parts that remain in place are separated by large gaps where uh, portions have collapsed. A fog-shrouded swamp spreads out below you in all directions. Up from its murk wafts the smell of rotting plants, also rising from the swamp, is the music of nature, discordant, a discordant symphony of croaking frogs and singing birds. Hmm. we got to figure out how to get down from this thing. Mm-hmm. Let's walk out to the where it stops and see what we can see. Mm-hmm. Get up to the edge, you can look <clears throat> down. Mm-hmm. Um, it is about, you'd estimate probably about a hundred feet down. Oi, are there any, um, does it look like there's any trails or footholds or stairs or anything like that around? We have rope, we can go down. Um, you could probably find some handholds and footholds. Um, there's also a long, you know, kind of ascending the pillars are, large forms of mushrooms oh. kind of like growing in into and out of the pillars okay maybe those would are, so can, are they strong do you think is can we anybody carrying on, around a pole one stand, on, <laughs> stand on one see if you fall does anyone have a pole or something Mm-mm. we have, I have a plastic oh. unicorn horn 
<laughs> we got. We can make a loop in our rope. Have some candy. Some candy. <laughs> some candy. Uh, we've saved the candy. We might need it if we run out of yeah, rations. Yeah. I'll pull out my finger puppets and say, how are we going to get down? <laughs> <laughs> I have 50 feet of rope. Oh, we yeah, I, too. I think we all have 50 feet of rope. We can make a, the 100 foot by combining and, and go down. What are we going to tie it to, though? <laughs> oh, that, that's a good point. I don't know. I also have sleeping beans, and you could fall, and me <laughs> being asleep, you maybe won't break stuff. You won't be rigid. You'll just... Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a rude awakening at the bottom that's why oh, people wow. die in a fall is because they're too rigid <laughs> yeah. I'll have to remember that next time I fall out of an airplane I think there was uh, yeah. somebody got sucked out in a tornado and he like passed out as he went outside got ragged all around and didn't die uh, I don't know but I'm sure that's what it I'll was. Try out, I'll try out the pump rooms, but I want to have my pixie dust at the ready to sprinkle on myself in case it starts breaking or falling. Well, what, so what does the pixie dust do? It makes it where you can fly? I, I can fly for, I think it was one minute. So what if we split the pixie dust and like we get enough that maybe our boots <laughs> can fly and we just slowly <laughs> fall? Drink it halfway down. down. Yeah, we, well, we don't fly. We just de slows our descent. <laughs> Quarter slow, you know, that's not bad. <laughs> you can do that, yeah. Yeah. Gravity's well. That work. Like, that, the, you, 10 you meters a second, we're, we'll fall at like six. That. We spread, that, spread out and we can use the mushrooms and kind of like Mario down. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> we're going. We're going. We're going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you, you guys can you guys can make it down on the mushrooms. No problem. Okay. Good. Oh, okay. There's, there's quite a few. Um, right. As you're getting toward the as you're getting toward the bottom. Um, in the distant sky, you spot a great balloon made of patchwork material. <clears throat> it spins out of control as though punctured, causing mm -hmm. the wicker basket to hang through it to swing wildly. The balloon plunges out of sight, disappearing into the fog approximately a mile away. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Too bad for them. Yeah, we should ignore that. And just <laughs> 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 All right, and you know, I'm, here. I'm, I'm, I'm somebody prepared for something in an encounter with them. We don't, we don't want to do that. Uh, <laughs> you actually see somebody in there? Could we tell if there's anybody in the basket? <laughs> Why would you blew me flying without? Uh, it was, it was pretty know. far off. You don't, you couldn't tell. <laughs> Like, yeah. oh, what was that? Check that out. You want to go investigate? Yeah, let's sure help those people were sleeping, and that could have really hurt them when they landed. Yeah, let's find out yeah. if they were rigid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if they're hurt, they we were definitely yelled. rigid. Yep, yep. Don't be rigid. <laughs> Listen up. Yeah. Stay yeah, limbo. Chill out, guys. Yeah. <laughs> It'll hurt less. It's a yeah. or something. If you find him, he's like, he couldn't hear us. <laughs> Rick and Mortis fits in. It was a mile away, man. Yep, yep. Hold up. No. Oh. Well, um, now that we see the scale of this, <laughs> um, I'm thinking the castle's probably not where we want to. Like, maybe we should check out this tower. It's right here. It's closer. I mean, unless Maybe we want to go for that balloon. Yeah, it looks like it might actually be a rocket that'll take us to the mountains. Yeah, is the I'm assuming the balloon's in the general direction of the tower. To the yeah, point. yeah. So it was it was kind of flying over you this way, and crashed oh. right about there. And that's a mile away. Pretty far a mile, yeah. Yeah, we. Oh, I think gosh. we should it's, check out the balloon and then head to the this place. Is tower. huge. <laughs> yeah. Are there any camping uh, like? tables that we have to do in this game <laughs> yes, 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 um yes, yes. possibly <laughs> oh, to look at that <laughs> parks pass. I, spent, I spent one turn looking for firewood <laughs> you need a parks pass <laughs> tickets tickets <laughs> are we gonna go check out the balloon yeah sure yeah yeah so that's a mile. The balloon on this map is a mile from where we are. Yeah. Holy smokes. Wow, we've got good vision if we can see like mountains and stuff off in the distance like this. So yeah, the fog will kind of clear and then kind of come back. Uh, like it's just kind of a yeah, just kind of an ongoing. Um, 
I think to the need, balloon. I think we'll need to call it here because this stuff for this chuck. But you guys oh. get to level up. Oh, oh. yeah. Level up. Nice. Like start get to use some of this stuff. So. so we're level four now. Yeah, so you guys will level up to level four. Okay. All right. Period, Josh. Yeah, so at the at the bottom, I don't know if you can see that or the scale in miles. <laughs> so like oh, from here to here, that's yeah. that's a mile. So from here wow. to here, that's, that's a mile. Yeah, this is huge. It's gonna take yeah, a while. This map is cool. Did y'all notice that there's a heather? Yeah. The, 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 there, the, yeah, that's all on there. Mm -hmm. cool. I like the things in the corners too. Yeah. He ate the candy and I put the unicorn hat on. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, I didn't zoom out. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of detailed artwork on this stuff. <laughs> yeah, so zooming in is pretty fun too. You can go all the way down, like look at the dragon in the water, and it's like pretty detailed. <sighs> It's kind of a hex crawl, or a point crawl. It's a point crawl. Mm, yeah. Okay. All right. That's fun. Well, there's a little fairy ring of um, mushrooms in the northern forest up there. Mm -hmm. I don't like the idea of the brigands' tollway. Do you think they charge you to walk on the wooden? <laughs> I imagine so. We're gonna have to show them who's boss. That's right. I should learn some dragon magic for your, your character. <laughs> there are good dragons. <laughs> oh, I won't be one. There's just no uh, good draconians. Gold dragons. Unfortunately, all the dragons are extinct. Mm. I'm sure they will never re again return. Dragon Mark and gives me two spells. I don't remember how to level up. Hmm. Manage? Hmm. Manage character and levels. Aha. Yeah, it's been so long out of even where I want Yeah, it's <laughs> level four. Ability score improvement. Okay. Same, okay. Same. Let's see. What do we got? Mold Earth. Breath, what? I wish you would tell you what the spells are when you're...